Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. This is the tie dye guy here with another round of Descent 2nd Edition. Today we're going to be taking on the Cardinal's Plate Quest. Um, this is the first encounter. We haven't dove into this uh, one yet. I'll explain the layout here in a minute. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, go over the uh, intro uh, quest text here. So, this business with the Overlord is really bad, says Baron Gregory through his white mustache. That chap who was murdered when you first come to town, he wasn't just anyone. That was Viceroy Pellin. He was a hero like you in his younger days. He and his fellows, they called themselves the Shadowbinders. We don't think his death was happenstance, says Baron Zachareth, stroking his dapper beard. This Overlord is clever, whoever he is. We have to assume he's after all the Shadowbinders. Roth um, traveled with Pellin, says Gregory. He's cardinal now. He set himself up in the cathedral to Kelos in the Karthmounts. Best hurry off to make sure he's alive. He's got the staff of life, too. Might need it. What? Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's just it's silly. Um, as you approach the cathedral, the day grows dark. Suspiciously, you ready your weapons and nearly kill the young initiate who calls to you from behind a rock. Please, Faithful, the Cathedral is besieged. The Cardinal invoked the Ward of Flame, but that Lord Merrick was already inside. He knows that Koth can only be harmed by a Faithful man. He's raising the dead of our own graveyard and sending them to kill the Cardinal. You must find the Relic of Dawn to get through the Ward and stop Lord Merrick before his zombies overcome Cardinal Koth. So, um, that gives you kind of the flavor of what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be going in and trying to find this Relic. Um, which will let us get through this barrier. Um, this is, it says it's a locked door, but um, you know, they call this the mystic portal, right? It's blocking our way. Um, from Merrick, he's going to be running around trying to revive zombies, as seen here, and trying to escape with his flock of zombies before we are able to get in there and stop him. But before we get into all that, let's go ahead and do our travel phase. So... As always, we start here in Aryan, and we're going to be going to the Cardinal's Plight, which is four travel steps away. So, let's go ahead and start drawing. So, first one is the river, which has no event. Next one is going to be this wave um, symbol. Alright. Fat bloated corpses float in the water. As you approach, they moan and rise. Each hero tests their... Um, their knowledge here each zero who fails is overcome by zombies and is diseased oh, it's willpower I'm sorry willpower okay so everyone gets to take a roll otherwise they get diseased um, Grisbin's roll here needs to be a three or less two perfect um, we have a three here as well for a widow so let's go ahead uh, let's roll like this okay and three make it just fine um we have a willpower here of four for Averick, but Averick is kind of known for failing these but let's see what we get <laughs> what did i say about Averick failing all right so we are now diseased and disease means they can they suffer uh, fatigue unless they're able to pass their willpower check um tombo here has a three so let's see what tombo gets three so most people pass, Averick is diseased. Okay, so overcome by zombies, but I'm assuming they get out and everything's fine. They're just diseased, no problem. All right, next up is no event. We have the flat um, plains here. Next is gonna be a mountainous, mountainous region. And let's see here. The Overlord chooses one attribute. Each hero must test the chosen attribute. Each hero that fails suffers one damage and one fatigue. Okay, so let's do this random, right? Um, one, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and draw a random number from our random deck here. One. Okay, so we're going to be testing willpower again. So let's see if people fail this one. Ooh, that is a bad failure. Bad, bad failure. Okay, so we suffer one fatigue and one damage here for Grisbane. Let's see what Widow gets. 
All right, Widow is perfectly fine. Averick, four willpower, but doesn't seem to help him that much. Four, barely passes. And next we have Tomble. One, two, passes. So we're slightly hurt on Grisbin and Averick is diseased, but we have now made it to the Cardinal's plight. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give a quick overview so we remember who everyone is and what their abilities are, then we'll get into it. So Grisbin has his iron battle axe and leather armor. He's able to challenge, which puts a, a token on a monster, so they deal one extra damage to each other. He's able to advance, which lets him, if he kills a monster, spend a stamina to move and take another attack. And Oath of Honor lets him move three spaces and do an attack if a monster is adjacent to a nearby hero. Um, Widow here has plus one stamina and, and uh, the leather armor for plus one health, like Grisman has, and also has the magical staff which deals good damage and is able to damage other monsters nearby. Um, and all her abilities are with uh, with her uh, reanimate. We're able to give the reanimate an extra turn. Of course, we can create the reanimate and we can do an attack focused on the reanimate and it actually acts as a blast. Um, don't need to be line of sight for that one. So good stuff going on here. Averick, um, steel broadsword. Right, good damage and is able to re-roll the red die and the shield of the dark god which lets him re-roll a defensive dice and keep the result if it's better. Um, stone skin, um, add an extra gray dice to a defense pool. Um, shared pain, hurt other monsters with one and healing rain which is a proper healing ability to have uh, nearby heroes recover health. Um, Tomble still has the throwing knives and has the wooden shield um, for an extra defense die. Um, we are able to cancel one surge with the heavy cloak and then the lucky charm of course um, lets him reroll attributes um, kind of focusing on search abilities here we can search within three we can draw a new uh, new item if we don't like it and we're able to stun um, monsters so um, or you know stun any target if we're able to hit them for one which is really good um, good for stun locking um, big characters like Lord Merrick Pharaoh here. So let's review what monsters we have. So Lord Merrick, um, 4 movement, 13 um, health, um, good defense with the, the gray and the brown. Um, not too strong, but um, lot, you know Lord Merrick Pharaoh is more of like a mage type character. Um, um, let me see here. If someone adjacent attacks... Um, Lord Pharaoh, they have to test their will, otherwise they suffer a fatigue, which is really going to wreck people like Grisbin. Um, then Ignite, they do an attack um, that hits all adjacent figures. Um, each figure rolls defense. Yeah. So basically, he can hit all adjacent figures by taking one stamina. Um, then we have our, you know, all of our old favorites here. We've seen all these guys before. Flesh Molders, they're the, the healers. Um, zombies, they only get one movement, but they can immobilize and disease. And the Bargs, um, I can't say what a Barg hissed. Let's call them Bargs. Um, uh, they get extra defense if they're not attacked by adjacent, and they can howl to make a whole bunch of people suffer stamina damage. Um, so... The Overlord starts with some cards, of course, one for every hero. We have Dash to give them extra movement. Word of Misery, where every time they suffer stamina, they suffer, I mean, every time they suffer damage, they suffer an extra stamina. Um, Dark Resilience to recover health and a Critical Blow to give us an extra surge for plus three. Um, our tasks for Merrick is he's gonna be moving to gravestones and attempting to raise zombies. And zombies are just attempting to move off the, off the map through the exit because um, let's go ahead to our victory conditions, right? Um, if we have to defeat Lord Merrick, we make it. If there are no zombies and no gravestones left on the map, then the Overlord wins their part of the encounter. Okay, I think that is it. Do we have, we don't have anything reactionary here. No, all this is Overlord specific turn. So let's go ahead and get into it. So, 
First off, I want Averick to do a share. Oh, first test a uh, disease, right? And see if he suffers a fatigue. He does suffer fatigue. That is annoying. Okay. So we're going to do shared pain. Um, we're attacking this barg right here in front of us. And we're going to see if we can damage the other two bargs with this hit. Um, and the bargs get one gray die for defense. So one, two, th so four. Um, three defense, four damage. So one damage does get through. Which means um, all the other bargs also take one damage. So three, three, five. <laughs> That's not a big attack, but it, it, it was an, an attack. So um, let's go ahead and just um, attack this barg normal and see if we can um, take it out here. One, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and reroll our red power die. There we go, so four, five damage with the three, so we hit it for two more. Not enough to take it out, but we definitely did some good damage on that. Okay, um, so that was Averick's turn. I think, hmm, I kind of want Tomble. I still want him to be adjacent so he doesn't get the extra, um, the extra defense dice from hitting them from range. So I'm going to have Tombo to go next. One, two, three. Right? And then he is going to attack that Barg. And let's see if we can take it out. Um, so here, here, here. Okay, so one, two, three. Um, we have an extra Surge, which is not really used for anything. Um, can't heal, can't recover stamina or anything. Um, so the two defense, we were able to do the one extra damage, so the Barg is defeated. Um, and Double has one more movement. I don't know if I want him to move anymore. I kind of want him to stay in the back so he doesn't get walloped on. So I'm good with that. Um, he'll just waste the one movement. Um, Grisbin. Let's get Grisbin up next. Um, he's going to take a swing at this Barg. And let's see if he can finish this off and then do an advance. So one, two, three, four, pierce one. Um, so only two to defense apply, so that is two damage. Um, two damage, yeah. I can't see anything else we can do to help with, oh, I should have challenged. <laughs> I should have challenged. Oh, that is gonna, that is just gonna, ugh. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, um, let's see if we can finish it off and then we can do an advance. And then we'll challenge the uh, master if we're able to run up and get to him. One, two, three. We'll be able to get up to him. So let's hope we can finish off this other barg. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. Not a chance. Um, unfortunately, no extra surges to recover stamina, but that's how it goes. Okay. Um, we're going to exhaust this and spend another fatigue. And we're going to exhaust this challenge marker. To put this on the master and go one, two, three, and take a swing against this master, dealing one extra damage. So one, two, three, pierce one. So only one defense applies. Um, plus one defense, or plus one attack. So four attack, one defense for three damage. That is a good, good turn. Okay. Next up, let's have Widow move up. One, two, three, four. And then Widow is going to spend the stamina herself to get our reanimate into play. And then the reanimate is going to go take a swing at this Barg himself. So, here, here, here. And let's see how we do. It's a whiff. Uh, nothing I can do to re-roll that or anything, so that is it. So that is it for the heroes. All of them have taken their turn. So now it is the Overlord's turn. Seriously? All right, so first up, we draw another Overlord card and Dark Might. Okay. Um, 
Uh, the surge, so we can do the surge. So basically, the next attack we get, we're doing an extra three damage. All right. So first up is Lord Merrick. Let's move this over here a bit. Okay. So attack. He has nothing to attack. He's not adjacent to anything, so it doesn't make sense for him to attack. He um, ability again doesn't matter. He's just really going to be moving around and doing his things, but. You draw it in case you draw a blitz, and then you get an extra Overlord card. So, um, oh, let's unlock him. Okay, so he will move forward one. He has a movement of four, right? And now, to do um, his check here, once per turn, if he is adjacent to a gravestone, he may he may attempt to raise the zombie as an action. Um, he tests against his willpower. Or in his knowledge of four, and then if it's uh, if he passes, remove the gray stone and put another zombie in and put a zombie there instead. So let's see if he passes. Four, he passes. That was kind of a crazy roll, but he is able to do it. So now a zombie is gonna appear right there. Um, zombie, he doesn't activate this turn, um, but the zombie next turn will be able to start moving towards the tile. So uh, Merrick is going to head and spend the rest of his movement moving up to the next um, icon. So this locked door, this portal, it does block line of sight. Um, it doesn't block line of sight for Merrick, but it blocks line of sight from the heroes reaching Merrick. So if a hero happens to be standing adjacent, um, Lord Merrick can go... Oh, he does have a ranged attack, right? Lord Merrick can shoot through the uh, portal here at heroes as they're coming through. So... Um, that's Lord Merrick. Next up is the Flesh Molders. So I have a feeling these guys are going to get the dash triggered for them. So that just makes sense, right? There's, um, oh yeah, anytime a hero would suffer, yeah, this would take effect. So they'll suffer one stamina if they take a damage. We're going to dash in order to get these um, Molders extra speed. So, um, anytime you get hurt, an extra stamina and two movement for the molders, right? An additional movement action. So the master molder, okay, uses his ability. Doesn't matter. He is going to engage, okay, which is his uh, four movement. So one. Oh, all these guys are locked in place. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Um, from here, he does not. He has line of sight technically on the reanimate. Um, but let me see here. For ranged, I believe it is four. Let's see. Range is four spaces. Um, for max. So one, two, three, four. He is not technically in range of the reanimate. Which means they go to his ability, which does nothing. He's going to engage again. Um, yeah, so he's going to move up one, and then he's going to take a shot at the reanimate here and see if he can take it out. And then he has three movements still left because he's on his second movement, but he got a free one from the dash. So um, the reanimate gets no defense. One, two, three, four, five damage. Reanimate is toast. He was brought in and did nothing. Then he is smoked. Okay. So the the flesh molder is going to move up closer, and he is still out of sight um, from everything. If he moves up one, now all of a sudden he's in range of the uh, the range. He's in line of sight of the range heroes, which he will try to stay away from. Okay. So next up, let's do this flesh molder sitting on the left. Okay, um, so one, two, three, four for the movement, um, for his dash movement. So then he will engage again, which will be one. And now he's technically in range. So I guess which one would he be targeting first? Um, gray, which is Widow. Yep, so he's going to go up and try to hit Widow. One, and then he'll retreat back to try and get out of line of sight again. So, 
Um, Widow, you're going to be taking some hits here, it looks like. So Widow has a brown and a, a gray for defense. And then this is this could activate our extra um, damage here. If we need a surge, we will activate it and such. Okay, so one, two, three damage, one defense, and this is going to kick off adding one of these and adding three more damage. Okay, so that is six total damage, minus one, so five damage. Woof. So, one, two, three, four, five. And also takes one, one more fatigue because of the uh, Word of Misery. Okay, and then, um, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The flesh molder runs to get out of line of sight. Right, right here. All right, um, next up, next flesh molder. Okay, we have a blitz, so we draw another overlord card, poison dart. Um, and then the rest of the uh, people are gonna use this, but it's gonna look very similar because uh, they're all gonna be attacking uh, Widow. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then they're gonna retreat. So here's our shot against Widow. So one, two, three, four, five damage, um, minus three um, defense, right? So two damage and then one Two damage, one fatigue. All right, so Widow is getting into trouble here. One, two, three, four, one, and then back up here as well. Um, one, two, three damage, and then a fatigue. So four, five, oh, Widow is almost knocked out. The leather armor is saving her. She also has one extra stamina from the fatigue, but I have a feeling Widow is gonna get hit with by these bargs and it's not gonna be great. Um, right, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Uh, probably should have burned some stone skins to try and, I didn't realize that one was gonna just smash her so bad. Um, we're definitely gonna be adding one stone skin to help her out on the next time she gets hit. So, this flush mortar is going to back up to get out of line of sight. This zombie does not activate. Now we are at the Bargs. Okay. So the Barg is going to be trying to attack Grisbin first because that is Grisbin's token. So, first they're going to engage. Already engaged. And when we engage, when we're already there... Um... Right, we're already we're already there, so they are gonna attack. Now they get plus one attack because they are challenged um, by by him. So a blue and a red. Okay, and then Grisbin does get the extra gray defense from his leather armor. So let us see um, what the bard does here. So three defense, three attack, nothing else. The attack is completely negated. Oh wait, it's not negated. Plus one for the symbol, so he takes one damage. Um, next up, he is going to use his ability um, to um, howl and try and see if is everyone in range. Everyone but Avric is in range. They're going to test their willpower or suffer a stamina. Well, actually, he suffers a stamina. Because that Overlord card, he took a damage, so he also suffers a stamina. Oh boy. <laughs> and Widow can suffer one more stamina due to the Ring of Power, but there's one health and one stamina left on Widow. So two Howls could make her be completely incapacitated. Well, let's see what happens. So, rolling for the Howl. Pass his not, his uh, will of three. Passing, uh, checking her willpower. Oh no, she fails. Um, so maxed out on fatigue for Widow. Okay, next up is Averick. One, two, three, he passes. Next up is Tomble. 
and tumble two nothing he passes so the only one who failed was the one I was really hoping didn't fail so that is the master barg next up is the other barg um okay so um okay so they are going to be trying to call after Avrik. um so do they have the movement to reach well they can't run through the heroes right one two three four so they're not in range necessarily right so well they can't attack which means they're going to try to engage um move within max attack range it can't so can it move within max attack range of widow it certainly can so one two and then it's going to try to attack widow so we're going to burn a stone skin to try and make sure she doesn't take any damage one damage and she is knocked out um so let's see what happens it's a miss <laughs> oh it's a miss yeah, and then the big damage roll there. That would have been brutal, but it is a miss. Okay, so engaged, attack, and now it is going to um, reposition, which means it does move away, right? It is in. Re right, because it moved one, two, then it's going to try and go away. One, three, four. Okay. So that is the Bargs. Uh, hero turn. So everything on exhausts. The token comes back. And Avrik needs to test his disease. If he runs out of stamina here, he can't do any healing. Or he pass he he barely passes. Whoop. So the disease does go away. Oof, okay. So I think Avrik needs to go first um, to try and heal Widow here. Um, can't do Healing Rain, but what we can do is do Heroic Feet. So we're going to burn our Heroic Feet, roll two red dice, and then everyone within three recovers that much. One, two, three. So everyone's within range of this. Four health recovered. So... Brisbane is back up to max. And one, two, three, four are completely gone. So Widow's doing a little bit better now. So that was one action. And I th does Avrik need to burn? Um, I think Avrik is gonna do a rest action now to recover his stamina. Cause he kind of needs that. <laughs> Um, and I think this is going to be a theme here. Because Widow needs to... Widow, I think, just needs to back up. Tomble is going to have to get into the fray a bit. Um, gosh, with all these guys coming in. You know, I don't know. Can we afford to do the stamina recovery? Because... Averick will move up one, two, three, four. Because he has a lot of health. I think he needs to move up to start taking hits. One, two, three, four, right? So, Averick's going to move up. Um, does not get an extra action or anything, so he's unable to do much. But he is there. He has the shield um, of the Dark God and 12 health. Hopefully, he'll be able to take tank some hits. Let's go back here, actually, force. Um, some of these guys to possibly move like this one will have to move all right um so Avrik's done let's do Grisbin next Grisbin might be able to do some work here with some advances um let me see here health and door search which haven't done a door search yet okay so here um this one's important so I want to do the challenge here this needs to go down so we can use an advance and run up and take another shot. So I think this is legit. 
Okay, so five, just tons and tons of damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, pierce one, so five damage. So we can use one of the um, surges to recover that. Um, we could use the other surge to recover health because we're within three of Averick, but he is maxed out. So that is that. Um, we get our token back. The Barg is removed from play. And then we are going to advance, which gets our fatigue back to go one, two. And now I think we're going to attack the Flesh Molder. Um, since they can heal, um, maybe he'll waste a turn healing instead of trying to attack us. Or maybe we'll be able to take him out entirely here. So um, I believe they just have a gray for defense. They do. So one, two, three. For five damage, one shield, because one gets negated. So that is four damage. Not quite enough to take out the molder. Okay. Although. Oh. I was gonna Widow can move up and take a shot. If they take a shot at the Barg. If we use a surge, we could kill the the flash master flesh molder. Um, and Tomble might just run up and loot. Would that be the right thing to do, just to run up and loot? It's kind of what he does, right? Um, we could burn. You now the way everyone's grouped up, that's going to make it difficult, right? One, two, three. We could go here. So if Widow moves, hmm. Yeah, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here is what we are going to do. Cause like our own teammates don't block line of sight if I remember right. All right, 12 should be line of sight. Here we go. So, load. Um. Large figure, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so our own characters can block line of sight as well. So there's no way we can hit this flesh molder, but we could hit the Barg. So I think Widow's gonna shoot, run up, hit the Barg. One, two. And then it's gonna try to take a shot at this Barg. Um. And then she might try to stick around so next turn she can take a shot and do a recovery um, to try and get the uh, reanimate back into play. Because I think it's important to kill this um, Master Flesh Molder. So let's take a shot. Blue and a red. With just one of those for defense. And if we get a surge, then we will be able to um, take, on, take out the... Uh, master here so that was a big waste of time uh, <laughs> the miss gosh darn it okay um yeah that's that's just really unfortunate um so i think widow's gonna stay here try and stay out of the way um so here's what's gonna happen um since that's widow's turn we're gonna burn one stamina for tomble do one movement and then we're gonna be greedy um, looting this token and pulling from the search deck. Stamina potion. Um, flip this card over and have a hero recover all stamina. I think that's exactly what we need right now. Um, so we only used one movement, so we're gonna go two, three. Hey, look who's adjacent. Widow is adjacent, right? So we're gonna put this over here. It's flipped over because it's used, and now Widow recovers all the stamina which is just brilliant that's exactly what we needed and tumble will take another step forward to do that and i believe that is where we are sitting right now oh poison dart does trigger that's where oh it might trigger so let's see if his symbol shows up in the first two of this purple i believe purple is him it is so poison trap does fire 
Um, so he's gonna have to pass strength, which is one. Um, so let's see if Tomble is able to pass the strength test. Two. So we're gonna burn our lucky charm. Um, Reroll the attribute test entirely. Three. So we fail the test, which means he is poisoned um, and suffers one damage and suffers one fatigue. So poison, fatigue, damage. That's gonna start racking up, but hopefully with the lucky charm, we will be able to um, get that taken care of. Okay, um, so poison dart is used up. That is used up. All these are used up. Okay, Overlord's turn. Draw one. Pit trap. Next time someone moves, um, we will draw a card to see if they fall into a pit trap. All right. Um, so reinforcements. So reinforcements only trigger if Merrick fails to raise a zombie. Um, in which case we will be able to spawn someone on the entrance tile. Um, I don't think there's anything specific about our, uh, it'll probably be flesh molders first, then bargs for what we're going to be reanimating or, you know, masters first, right? So, um, let's have Lord Merrick do his thing. He's going to test his, uh, knowledge. He succeeds. So this gravestone goes away we have another zombie in play and then he will move up one okay um flesh molder is next oh, actually yeah he doesn't have line of sight on a hero so we can't take a shot at anybody okay um he'll be here in case next round he might be in range and take a shot at a hero because they have to run up here and search i don't know which one of these is the proper token we will just have to wait and see. All right. Um, so next up is the flesh molders. Um, health. Yeah. So no cards coming into play until it's the uh, heroes' turn here, right? Or would we use this to recover? No, I think that would be used. I've been using it before where it's only used on the champions, which I think makes sense. There's no explicit rules on how this card is used, as far as I know. So, right, um, Overlord cards. Do, 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 do. Um, I have an Overlord card, results in control. Oh, I see. Use the, use the random numbers to see if it would take effect. So we're going to draw a card. If it's two, the Flesh Molder will heal themselves. Whoops. That is not... Okay. So. It is a four. So the Bargs will be trying to heal themselves. Which I don't think there is a Barg that is wounded. It's just the one. Alright. Um. Good. So... Let's see what the Flesh Molder does end up doing. They're going to be attacking to hit Averick. Um, so fir well, first is the attack. Can they hit Averick from here? No. Can they hit Widow from here? Um, well, no. There's no line of sight anywhere, right? Um, so the way this goes, right, it's going to be... Encounter objective, they don't have one. Priority, priority, closest with the most damage. The only one they can really hit is Grisbin. So they are going to take a shot at Grisbin and then they are gonna use their ability to um, heal. So let us see what we do. Grisbin gets the plus brown um, dice because of his defense. And let's see how we do. One, two, three damage, five defense, fully defended by Grisbin. Great job, but now we are going to heal. Um, one red power die, and they will recover that much health. Three health, so he is back up to four. And that is the master's turn. Let's do um, this one next, right here. All right, now, 
top down, left right. So top flesh molded, it'll be this one, and then this one, and then this one. Okay. Oh, we got a blitz. Okay. So first they're going to engage and try to engage Tomble here. Right? So one, two, three. Um, and since they're ranged, they would want to stay at this range, right? So one, two, three. Then they would use their ability. The weaker ones do not have an ability, so they're going to attack Tomble and then try and bail out. So Tomble does not get the plus defense. Um, so now let us see what we get. Tomble does have the wooden shield and a way to cancel a surge with the heavy cloak as well. So we will see, we'll probably see these come into play. All right, one, two, three, one defense. So two defense. Let's block the surge for the plus one. Um, so um, two defense, no surge. So he only takes one damage from that shot. And then if they are they're within, they're within three of Widow. Actually, I think this flesh motor would stay here according to the movement rules. Um, with repositioning, they, um, there we go. So, they're not adjacent to a hero. They're attempting to stay three away. And he has range, so they're going to try and move up one to stay out of range. All right, next up is this flesh molder. Oh, wait, we don't draw a blitz. Oh, because of the blitz, we get to draw another overlord card. Um, discard one token corresponding to a condition. So we don't have any conditions, so that's pretty much like a dead card right now. So next up, these are going to do the similar thing. One, two, take a shot. Okay, so two, two, but the surge means one more damage gets through. Although, would you mend? No, they're not damaged. They wouldn't mend. So one more damage against Tomble, and then three, four. Then next up, one, two, take a shot. One, two, even with the surge, three, it's fully defended. Three, four, back up. Um, then that is the flesh molders. They didn't do, they only hurt Tombo a little bit, even with everyone going all out, although the master did recover his health. So next up, the zombies. They get three movement. One, two, whoop, moved off the board. So one of them has made it. Um, doo -doo -doo. So we'll just put the zombie here and we'll see um, what else comes up here. Um, so, um, the zombie doesn't move, he was just brought up. So, uh, yeah, Barg next. Let's see what the Barg draws. And Barg is going to be going after Averick, which he is definitely able to do. Well, first they're going to use his ability to howl, which is rough. Okay, so everyone, which because everyone's here within three, everyone tests this, otherwise they lose a fatigue. One, two, three. We make it. Or Grisbin makes it. Widow. Widow makes it. Okay. Avrik makes it. Tomble. Bales. That's one fatigue, right? One, one fatigue. So he's maxed out on fatigue. Bet he still wish he had that stamina potion. Okay. Lots of stuff going on. All right, um, so the Barg does the whale, and then they're going to attack. The only one they can attack is Grisbin. So, Grisbin's gonna get hit, um, or at least he's, Barg is gonna attempt to hit him. So one, two, three, four, three defense. That is one damage makes it through. So Grisbin is slightly dinged again, which is totally fine. That is what he is there to do. Okay, that is the Barg. Um, since the zombies raised, no reinforcements. So it is the hero turn. Recover all the things. We're gonna try and get rid of this poison. We need a one. 
We got a one. Poison goes away. Thank goodness. That was going to get really annoying. Okay. So next up, we do have a pit trap that could come into play. Um, but man, we need to make progress through here. Because he's already halfway done. We could have like... We could have three more rounds and then this, this whole mission is over. So we need to start cutting a swath through this. So... What I am going to do... Uh... is tricky I want Averick to run up and beat on this flesh molder with shared pain to hurt all these molders for one to try and make this molder easier for Grisbin to um, take down so then he can um, advance and tar and attack the Barg as well um, then we got Tomble who will you know he'll probably run up and do his attack and Widow um, we'll spawn the reanimate and probably have the reanimate take two turns. Although the magic staff attack will probably be better. Okay, let's do this. Um, Widow for her first turn. Let's raise dead. Okay. Um, we'll get our reanimate into play in an adjacent spot. Um, we don't, here's fine. Yep. Then Widow is going to take a shot at the Barg with the Magic Staff. And then hopefully we get a chance to... Um, sure, nothing triggered, right? That's only when we move. We have not moved. Um, so, take a shot at the Barg, and if anything, we'll be able to deal one damage to um, someone adjacent, which will damage the, uh, the Master here. So, let's see if we do some, do some work. Are you kidding me? All right, once per round after you roll a dice, let's re-roll it. So let's re-roll the blue dice, cause oh my gosh. Okay, so one, two, three, four damage, no surge, one defense. They are severely hurt. So since they're almost done, um, I might want to let like Tomble take him out possibly. So I'm gonna have the reanimate move up his three and take a shot at this flesh molder right here. One, two, three, three. Random it does nothing. Flesh molder fully defense. Okay. Um, Tomble is going to take a shot at this Barg. I kind of want the two attacks, even though they get an extra... Oh no, only the uh, red one has the Night Stalker. So that's good. So he's going to get his normal attack in. And if we do one damage, that will be great. Plus he's out of um, stamina. So hopefully this does it. Then we can spend a surge recovering stamina. One extra damage over the one shield. And then we can recover one fatigue. So that is brilliant. Plenty of range and everything. So this Barg is also removed from play. Alright. He gets one more attack. Or one more action. We could take another shot at the master to make it easier for Grisbane to slot to take him down in one shot to try and uh, make sure we get that which I kind of want to do I think we're gonna do that so let's see if we can take down the master here or wound him one two three plus a surge to recover a stamina go oh, wait three range right one two three range we have just the amount of range um so we will recover another stamina, deal two damage to the master. Now I think it is time for Grisbin to come in and do his thing. He's going to take a swing. Um, let's save the challenge for another flesh molder here. So one, two, three um, damage, plenty of damage. Extra surge per token. So this master is removed. Okay, so we were going to advance. Move these out of the way. And move to the adjacent to the nearest one right here. And take another attack. Taking our swing. Oh, since he moved, 
Oh, let's see if the uh, pit trap comes into play. No, nope, that is not one of Grisbin's tokens for the first two. The pit trap does not come into play. Um, although I was supposed to reanimate would have drew, right? Um, so let's... Yeah. No, you know what? It's too late. We can't roll it back. Um, did not get played against the reanimate. So, um, let's take a swing. This is the advanced swing. So it's still technically our first action. One, two, three, four, plus a surge for six damage. Um... Pierce one for minus one, so four damage total, which is enough to take out the flesh molder. So that is great. Um, so the randomate does not count as a hero. Um, they are treated as a figure, but not a hero. So I can't use Oath of Honor to run up and do some work. Um, and no weird like uh, ranged attack or anything on him. So he's just going to move up. And then, um, that's his move. Okay, so Averick. Averick needs to start getting into the fight, so he's going to move up one. And then, which might trigger the Pit Trap. Um, one, two, it does trigger the Pit Trap. Um, the Bliss does not take effect, because we're just drawing this for randomness. So, we test Awareness. Um, he could suffer a damage and one movement point from this which is fine, um, but let's see what happens. One, two, three, his awareness is two. Um, he does take one damage. Um, he only can move three, so one, um, two, three. And you know what, I kinda want, do I care about trying to heal right now? I don't think so, I think we need to try and power through so we're going to do Steel Broadsword um, against this lower Flesh Molder and see if we can power through. So 1, 2, 3, 4, plus a Surge, which we can do that for 5. So one shot, that Flesh Molder is also removed. Wow! That was an excellent turn. So, um... Next up, it is the Overlord now. So let's draw our card. We're going to try and take over a hero. So let's see which hero we get to try and take over. We're going to try and take over a Grisbin. Okay, so we're going to test his willpower. So here we go. He passes. We do not take over, but I believe we still get to draw... Oh. He passes, draw one Overlord card, which we do. Dash, act, active, or extra movement. Um, which would, I'm not sure who that would apply to, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if anyone responds, and that might change, um, what happened. Yeah, because we would get the Master Flesh Molder next, and I could see Dash coming into play there. Lord Merrick is going to use a Dash. He's going to try and res another zombie. Or he succeeds again. Flawless. So another zombie comes into play, which means no other monsters. Um, and then he will spend his movement to move up one to get adjacent to the other gravestone. Flesh Molder. I do not see a dash getting used here. Because he'll be able to... Uh, or, you know what? Um... Oh, Dash is only one monster. Okay, yeah, I gotta remember that. I've been, I think I've been treating Dash as every monster in the group. Um, not ideal. Maybe that's why we got messed up here. Good. So, yeah, we'll do Dash on the one Flesh Molder. Um, and let's see what the Flesh Molder gets to do. It's a Blitz. So we draw another Overlord card for Frenzy. Um, we already activated, so we do not get to get the extra attack. But he is going to try... He can't reach Tomble, or can't, yeah, he can still sneak up here. One, two, because we do not block this entirely. Well, let's see what the, yeah, engage, and then they will attack. And then uh, they don't have any ability, so they're going to attack once, and then um, run away for six movement. Going after Tomble here, so. 
Um, here, yellow, blue. Um, we do have our shield and cloak, so let's see if these take effect. One, two, three, and the... Alright, so we're going to burn this and burn this, so only two damage get through. He's hurting a bit. Alright, so then three, four, and then... Oh my gosh, we're next to adjacent heroes. One. Um, I believe we would try and get two out of range. Alright, it would still stay... He'd still want to stay close. Um, right. Max range, alright, so engage, repositioning, we were on the right page for that. Um, tend to move two spaces away from that hero, so we get two away from these guys, and that's all they're going to do. They're going to sit there and be happy with it. So our dash gave them one extra movement. Um, okay, zombie. One, two, three. This one just came up, so they aren't leaving yet. Oh man, if if uh, Merrick wins or uncovers this gravestone, it's it's a two turn. So that we might only get three more complete turns. So we might just have to run past, or maybe these guys run up. Tomble's gonna definitely have to run up to try and help loot um, with his greedy. And then uh, we'll just have to see see how things go. The way it works is one of these has a special symbol underneath it. If we get the special symbol, then that means we got the Relic of Dawn, which opens up this door, this portal, which means we can go in and start trying to uh, take out Marrow. So, um, and if we can't kill the zombies, like if all the gravestones are gone and all the zombies are gone, the Overlord wins. So even it's it's... Yeah, so we can't, like, help by taking out the zombies. We can try and block off the exit. Um, so the zombies have to go through us. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't come to that. We'll see what happens. So, next up, um, our turn. No attributes or anything odd to do. There. What do we have? Healing, attack, recover health. I think... I think I want Tomble to run in first and try and search. So we're gonna burn two fatigue. So we have six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are within three of this token. So we're gonna, oh, no, we can't. One, two, three. We have the extra action, but there's nothing we can do with it. Okay. So we're not going to burn one of these fatigues. We're going to back up one. And then I guess we're going to attack the flesh molder here. We just don't have enough stamina to go in and work our stuff. So let's save one surge for uh, trying to be greedy um, to make it easier to loot. And then um, let's take a swing at this flesh molder and take him out. Or hopefully take him out. So here we go. So one, two, three damage, um, plus one because we're adjacent for four damage. Flesh Molder is removed. So Tomble is in here ready to start looting. Now everyone else is basically, let's get in here and start looting like mad. But I don't think anyone's going to be in range to loot this first turn. We're just going to be doing a lot of running. One, two, three, four. Right. You know, let's have him go last. So, Risbon, one, two, three. One, two, three. Next turn. Or one, two, three. Does he does not have two stamina to burn? So we're gonna go one, two, three. And then we will loot next turn. Widow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, the reanimate will move. One, two, three. They can't do anything else. Crazy. So, Averick, one, two, three, four. Um, Averick might. Averick's gonna rest. Averick needs his stamina back. Because folks need to heal. Um, two of us are really hurt. So, next round, he might burn a stamina or might cast a healing, um, a healing rain. 
then burn a stamina and loot. And so we'll be able to loot all four of these. You know, Grisman just might spend both of his turns looting here to uh, try and get this door open. So I think that is that. Overlord turn. They get to draw another card. Diabolic power. All right. So this will be played. Search your deck or... Um, Right, I believe if someone needs to search the deck, we just drop from the deck. Let me see here. Uh, drop card from the deck or discard pile instead. So, um, odds will choose a top card from here. Evens will choose the top card from here. Okay, it is an even, so we are going to choose the event. Every hero tests um, willpower. If they fail, they suffer two damage. Lots of willpower being tested. So, two, Grisbane is fine. Widow, this might make this heal much more important. It definitely does, one, two more. So Widow is um, has taken eight damage out of the 11 she has. Thank you, leather armor. Okay, um, Averick, let's test your willpower of four. You pass just fine. And now let's test your willpower of three, Tomble. And you fail, but let's use our lucky charm. One, two, three, we pass. So the only one who took damage again was Widow. Come on, Widow. I might give Widow the lucky charm or something. Goodness. Okay. So, um, Overlord turn, they are gonna test this gravestone over here. All right, nothing else makes sense to use. Additional attack, don't matter. Although, really, this is the only one, two, three, four, five, six. He is, he's not, he's not in range to attack. He won't be in range to attack, so we, we, we're not gonna burn the frenzy on him. So, um, yep, let's roll, or let's draw, right? Let's draw his card. Okay, nothing crazy there. So let's do the roll. Two, he passes again. Two flawless zombie reses. Okay, flesh molders are gone. Zombies are gonna activate. One, two. That one makes it out. One, two, three. This one is close. So we need to get in there next round in order to try and stop this. Well, we need to get in there next round and take out Merrick or we just need to rush in and try and block off this exit so they can't move through this is going to be tough I don't know if we're going to do this or not honestly don't know I don't think we have time to heal I think alright um, yeah I. alright I think um, Grisbin is just going to have to loot and hope, let's loot this one first it's just an item. Okay, so. Oops. So we get a treasure chest. Hey, we get a free level one act item. Chainmail. Your speed is reduced to four, cannot be increased above four. I think that's perfectly fine for him. Um, so that's. So I think he is gonna um, equip the chainmail. He doesn't need the extra health, but having the extra defense certainly does not help, or does not hurt. Um, now we have an extra leather armor to give to somebody, so that's great. Um, so let's move you right there. So now he's going to loot this other one. Hey, this is it! We found it! We found the token, which means this door is now open, so now we can start going through. Alright, I had to move everyone up here. <laughs> Um, so, um, Grisbin is out of commission, right? He's not going to be able to do anything. Averick has no ranged attacks at all. Two, so let me see here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can move eight and burn a stamina. Or we, and then Tomble could one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and burn a stamina. We can block this off. Um, 
to stop these other two from getting in. They'll get they'll get beat up on and Tumble might go down and still open the way. But I don't see I, I really want to try and prevent this from happening. Mm. Cuz like I, I haven't looked at the next quest. I don't know what happens if everyone succeeds. Um I have a feeling it's something bad, so we should try and get in, in front of this as best we can. So Averick, you were going to do things but now you're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Burn a stamina. Okay, you are there in the way. Tumble. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Burn a stamina. Thank goodness you had the stamina to burn. Um. So, of course, now that, now that we did open this, um, we are gonna get guys coming through um here so um that's that so grisman already went so widow one two three four you're gonna run up and you're gonna take a shot at merrick um yeah her ability hits two different ones which is not gonna help us here all right, so Merrick, um, you do get um, good defense here. So let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, plus the surge, which we don't, um, which we would, we're gonna use the surge to recover our stamina. Um, healing, hitting the zombie for one doesn't matter. Um, when we're out of range of Averick, so we can't heal. But one, two, three, four, five, two defended. So we're able to do three damage to Merrick. And then the reanimate will slowly, slowly clamber up. And that is, that is the turn for the heroes. Ooh, we'll see how things go. This is gonna get interesting. Okay, Overlord card, reroll to die. So if we get a complete whiff or a miss or something, we can reroll. Now, Frenzy is going to happen, right? We're going to get two attacks in because Merrick is just going to start going hog wild. Um, so let's see what Merrick ends up doing. He is going to attack Tomble. Um, he does have range and he is in range of Tomble. Um attack engage which would leave you right where you're at because you're three away and then you're going to use your ability but no one's adjacent so you're just going to do two attacks against tomble that's how i see it how i'm reading this oh tomble hopefully your stuff comes into play um he only gets a plus one um plus one damage um with a surge so it's not too bad tomble um, you got your cloak, you got your shield, don't die, <laughs> then open up the way for the zombies to run through. If he takes out Tomble right here, um, this will not be good. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to stone skin. We're going to stone skin one, give Tomble an extra defense die. Try to help defend this. Um, oh, it's not, a, it's a gray die. Gray die. Um before dice are rolled. So, first attack, Tomble Merrick is going to be, whoop, turn him around. He's taking a shot at Tomble. One, two, three, two defense. We will burn a shield to take no damage. That was one attack. Two attacks. If, the, if this deals three damage, we lose the encounter. <laughs> oh... And there's nothing else we can do. No one else has weird abilities to help trigger this or anything. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, nothing to defend. That is three damage. One, two, three. Tomble is knocked out. Which means it is the zombie's turn and they both escape. Oh my gosh. <laughs> By one, by one, one damage. 
Oh. Oh, Overlord gets to draw a card for knocking down a hero, too. Why not? Oh. That. That's something else. Oh, we would have had the re-roll, too. Well, no, we never got a bad roll. Anyway. Okay. I thought this was going to go well, but that's how it goes. So, there are no zombies and no gravestones on the map. That should do it, gloats Lord Merrick as the last of his zombies shambles through the doors. Prophecies and curses, ha! There's always a way around them. There is a flash of light and a puff of smoke, and then he is gone. From within the cathedral, you hear the crash of breaking glass. The Cardinal is in danger. The Overlord wins the encounter, with their four zombies successfully escaping. Oh! And we are beat up all to heck, right? Widow has tons of damage. Tom will, um, will probably get a recovery, but um, he'll be hurting real bad. At least the fatigue goes away, if I remember right. But yeah, that was um, <laughs> that was the Cardinal's plight, encounter one. Um, next time um, you'll be here. We'll be doing encounter two of the encounter of the Cardinal's plight, and uh, we'll see how that plays out now that the Overlord has won an encounter. Um, outright and um, we'll see how rough it is for the next one to go through so uh, until next time I'm the Tada guy and uh, yeah we'll see you next time <laughs>